Hey, what's up guys? Deke, Streets Shall Provide. This is a continuation or a precursor to a video on a massive, massive, massive amount of Star Wars cards I rescued from a dumpster. Uh, if I had to guess, let's call it 20,000 cards, maybe more, some vintage 1977 stuff in there as well. If you haven't seen that video, definitely check it. At one point, I take a side tangent from that video and decided I should just make it a separate video because I found a ton of comic books and the same aforementioned rescue. Um, this stuff, let me rephrase that. It was going to a dumpster. I got there about an hour before 1-800-JUNK was able to get to the one shed in the back they hadn't gone through just as of yet had permission to take anything I wanted. And I took quite a lot. And comic book wise, here's what we found. Oh, not really. Uh, Archie was like one of my least favorite comic books. That whole, like, all the Harvey stuff, not a big fan. It was just to me, I guess I was too old for that stuff. It was, like, boring. There was a few Marvel issues. Here's some DC Sandman stuff. What number is that? Yeah, that sucks. A sticker on it. And someone... Yeah, that's not in the bag. Or is it? Nope, someone wrote right in the comic. Jimmy Olsen. King. Mountain Man. These are kind of cool, these issues. I have no real interest in them, but the, just the art is neat. And there's so many of them. These are tough to sell. Like, if you sell them in a lot, look at that. If you sell them in a lot, you get rid of them, you get a nice chunk of change. I rescued these from the trash, keep in mind. But if I take the time to sell them individually, I'll make more money, but I waste so much time. It's like the age-old dilemma. I wish I had someone who could sell for me. So I don't have any of the Marvel, uh, Marvel titles here. Or the old, like, you know... Haunted Tales type stuff. Tales. There were no Tales in the Crypt. I wish I would flip out. I did EC stuff. I'd be in heaven. I probably wouldn't sell them. But some really old Disney ones, which this is great looking. Might be some value in these. Again, I'll have to, oh, that one, maybe not because it's ripped. But I could probably lot some of the crap condition ones together and sell them just to get rid of them. And pick out a few of the better ones and look them up. Nothing I'm particularly interested in. Oh, hey, look, right here's, here's a couple of cool ones. This is the stuff I'm more interested in. Just the cover art of that era. 35 cent cover price back then. Uh, vacation Funnies, Bugs Bunny, Superman. Oh, yeah, okay, come on. Oh, and it stops. I was hoping there'd be a whole row of these. Superman was somewhat interested in Superman. I was a Marvel guy, Captain America, 15 cents. So this is a pretty old issue. Bucky Barnes. This is the kind of stuff I want to look up or I might just keep and sit in my personal collection. So when I croak, I go to my kids, end up in a shed, and someone else will find it before it's thrown away. <laughs> no, I'm just happy I saved these. Um, let me get this out of here. Very tough to film one-handed. i got to do something with these soon before they sit out here. Too long. Lone Ranger. Lone Ranger. Boring. For me, I'm sorry, I shouldn't judge like that. If you grew up in that era, you might love the Lone Ranger. I just don't get it in interest. Um, Raggedy Ann and Andy. This is the stuff. Again, no interest, but 10 cent comic, that might be worth something. Pretty cool. Problem is when you list these, list these on eBay, like you have to show so many angles of it. They're not graded, blah, blah, blah. So it's just such a pain in the butt. But that is pretty cool. One thing I forgot to mention at some of my face value, this is Stimson uh, hardware and fasteners crate that these comic books are in. That alone will fetch me no fortune, but it's something I can keep and use or at least get, and it's in good shape, you know, 25 bucks for that. So I found some more Marvel stuff. And uh, here we go, Marvel Tales. We got Marvel Tales, 35 cents. Spider-Man. Who is this villain? The Smasher. Some of the villains, the uh, names were so generic. Although the one-off generic ones were kind of fun in their own right. Fantastic Four, issue 198. E-Man. He-Man's cousin. Love ecstasy. Fight an army from modern comics. It's cool seeing all the old imprints, too. A lot of which were bought out, if you follow things, bought out by one, you know, or the other Wonder Woman. Okay, now this is getting better. 
Cyclone Strikes. I was a big fan of Spider-Man. Still am. I had collected Amazing Spider-Man, Spectacular, Web of. Not $20.99. Wasn't that into it. I have some, but... Yeah, Moon Knight. That's cool. Enter Moon Knight. Is this an or origin issue? Wouldn't that be cool? I, I'm just hoping, guessing. White Dragon, Red Death. Like, look at this guy. I get, talk about one-off villains. I mean, he might have been in a couple issues, but this is just stupid. Older Disney stuff. Whoa, really old. Ten Cent Superman. Man. Yeah, like Superman would be picking up some wallet and fall for that. I remember this one. Not a cool cover. Scorpion, issue 21. These are these are some cool comic books. I have this one, too, because I remember this guy. The Hypno-Hustler. <laughs> oh, Morbius, right? That's cool. Issue number eight. Come on, that was going to go in the dumpster. This is the stuff I love. The, you know, the creepy horror-themed ones. Oh, man. Electro. Electro Man, to quote Ernest P. Worrell. Babe Ruth Sports. These are the ones I would look up to just out of curiosity. And there's a ton more stuff in here I haven't really gone through. It's all uh, primarily, I'm guessing. I'm going to just leave through real quick and pull a few out. I'm guessing they're all like. Uh, there were a lot in here that like had their covers missing, but he bagged and saved them. All I'm finding is, like, Looney Tunes crap and uh, Disney. And I say crap, but I don't mean it in, like, a mean way, because some of the Disney stuff is worth a lot. Try to be gentle here, sorry. One, one last fit, a fistful of comics. They're all kind of stuck together with humidity and cold. Oh, whoa. Whoa! Wonder Woman in crap shape. That's really old. Yeah, so there's a lot of these. I should just set these aside. I don't even know if they're worth, you know, throwing the wood stove. I'd like to give them someone who just would want to read them, collect them, because without the covers, I mean, to me, the cover art, even if they're not worth anything, is the whole appeal. I would buy certain issues that aren't worth jack just because the cover art spoke to me or had really cool coloration or had that Jack Kirby style art. Yeah, why bag these? So many of them. Someone who makes like, you know, cuts these out and makes like prints or frames them, some of the art, the old ads might be into these. So I might take these junk ones and sell them as a lot to someone who does that or find, you know, maybe there's a market for it just to get rid of them and not see them go in the trash. The new funnies. These haven't been laid through in ages, you can tell. All right, let's go back to the Star Wars cards, a few of them. Anyone's with me at all anymore? 